hits a head outside single. You know, I don't care if he hits a double leg. We are going to do the exact same thing every time. We're going to keep it real simple. This is just basic baseline defense. In Jordan, this is tough to, to get. So, guys, the next thing I know, Schultz will work with me for a month and a half, three times a week, just on defense. Hey, most guys in here are right-legged wrestlers. That means they penetrate to the right knee. That makes sense, guys? All right. That means their head inside singles here, their head outside singles here, and their double legs here. So when we go to do this, guys, I want you guys, even if you're a lefty, usually about 5% of the guys are lefties. Who's a lefty in here? All right. We got two lefties in here. All right. We got 50 guys. That's 4% out of 100. All right. Most guys are right-legged wrestlers. So I want to start right here on a head inside. First thing Dave Schultz said to do is break his stance. What does he mean by that? Get his head down. Right here, cold or strong. First thing I want to do is get his head down. Why well, gets him weaker? How do I do that? I just take my right hand, I reach up, and I shove his head down. I guarantee he's weaker than what he is from right here. Head down, hips going to come in, feet's going to go back, guys, and Schultz said always run your hip towards his head. My whole goal is to have his head somewhere between my shoulders and my hips, right here in the middle of my body. All right, why? It keeps his head down. I'm going to do a bunch of things at once. Here we go. Head down, hip in, feet go back, hips run towards his head to get his head in the middle. Left hand plays a huge role. I'm going to get the deepest tight waist I can on him. I'm going to try to reach all the way over and grab his spinal cord. Right hand plays a huge role. Once I shove that head down, my right hand is going to reach. I'm going to grab him right underneath his butt cheek on his hamstring. All right, he's going to go to both knees. Watch, head down, hip in, feet go back, deep, tight waist here. I want guys, if you can reach and grab a spinal cord, reach and grab a spinal cord. From here, guys, my right hand's going to grab right below his butt cheek. And here's what Dave Schultz said I have to do. He said, you have to get an angle. Why? Right now, Bryce, this is not tight, is it, Bryce? No. Not tight at all. Bryce feels one hip. He feels my left hip. Schultz said, you want to get an angle. Here's what I'm talking about. This right here is not an angle. Not an angle at all here. This right here is an angle, it's just the wrong angle. What I gotta do, guys, is I gotta get this angle right here. And then once I get this angle, now you can feel both hips coming in when I drive off my toes. How do I get that? Watch. Head down, hip in, feet go back. Look at my right foot. Right foot steps already up right here. Deep tight waist. Right hand grabs below his butt cheek, both elbows. I squeeze in. Why I'm trying to get back to my stance. Here's the whole key what kids cannot figure out. High school kids, college kids, they can't figure out this next step I'm going to show you. Look at my left foot. Left foot's tapping. My left knee's aimed right this direction. Can you guys see that? See my left knee's aimed that direction. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to windshield wiper my left foot. Left foot's going to windshield wipe. My knee's going to stay in the same hole in the mat. It's just going to change direction. This is what guys can't figure out. I windshield wipe here. You see the direction my knee changed, guys? This right here is the whole key. This is where, guys, I'm going to break Bryce's ribs. It's very, very tight. It hurts, I promise you. He cannot do anything. We score a lot of takedowns from here. I windshield wipe. I look across his back to here. And then all of a sudden, guys, now he can feel both bands come in. Cole, can you move? No. He cannot. <laughs> guys, I'm telling you, you have no idea how tight this is. I keep this tight waist until I step over. Then guys, you know you're doing it right, it feels like your arm gets trapped, but the arm won't come out. We score a ton of takedowns with that. What guys cannot get is this right here. Here, and then drive in. Again, head inside single. Bunch of things at once. Head down, hip in, feet go back, deep tight waist, catch. Elbows come in. Then I went to show white. Here. And then I drop. Smooth forward. Can you move? No. Step forward. Hey guys, David Taylor. I don't think I've ever worked hard with a human being in my life. He moved to my school when, what was he, 10 years old from Evanston, Wyoming. David Taylor, guys, big time scrambler, really into technique. David Taylor had one flaw in high school in my book, one flaw. And it was defense. But he was so good, guys, he could still scramble up and get the takedown. David Taylor would, would not do this. He wouldn't sprawl this left leg back. The guy, guy would have that leg, wouldn't sprawl this leg back. And here's what would happen. Taylor would head down, hip in, feet would go back, we wouldn't kick this foot back. Every time Taylor's hips would land on top of his opponent's head. He'd do this right here. Here. Shoot my hips are, guys. Right on top of his head. 
David was so good, guys. He was such a good scrambler. This guy posts, split the middle, Taylor would trap the guys on. David would take his right knee, shove the guy's head over, left knee would drop down. He still gets the takedown from there. He said, Coach, you like that technique? No, I hate that technique. All right, so one of these days, somebody's going to split the middle, and you're not going to trap this off. Last time he got beat, he got beat by a kid from Coach James School, a school I cannot stand. All right, his old school. All right, it's called Lakewood St. Ed's. Got beat by a kid named Jamie Clark. Jamie Clark beat him 10-8 all the time. Took Taylor down four times. Head inside single, split the middle. Taylor didn't trap his arm, took Taylor down. Taylor calls off, I said, Coach, you got to work on defense. I said, we got to spall that left leg back. I have to, I, my, I cannot have my hips on top of his head. Cannot have my hips here on top of his head. Once I sprawl and get to here, I never drive in and up. If I drive in and up, he'll split the middle every time. I look how far my left knee's back. If I do this, guys, if I start driving in and up, he's going to split the middle every time right there. Hip stays low. I'm always down and in, not in and up. Right hand plays a huge role, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Once I catch up underneath his butt cheek, goes hamstring. Look at my elbows. Right back into my stance. And then I do the windshield like here. And then I hip in. Hey, guys, you know what his objective is? It's our, it's our best finish. A head inside single chase angle. We did that, what, Monday morning? He wants to keep that angle. So if I hit a shot and I go to sprawl, he's going to try to keep that angle right there and score. My right hand has to go to catch. Guys, I've had some guys completely have me beat, have me beat, and they've had their left leg up, and I've jumped all the way over, I've caught their heel. Anything I can to stop them from getting an angle. I've had guys hit a shot here, their left leg's up here, uh, not quite that high, and I'll go to sprawl, and I'll catch his heel here, and I'll drop down. I'll even try to scramble and get my head under just to get a stalemate to stop him from getting that angle. So the deep tight waist, get that right hand moving. And when you get so when you get really good with defense, guys, you don't even shove his head down with your right hand. I don't even need to. My chest is going to cover. Once you get the shot here, my chest covers. That right hand's reaching. Catch it. Here, wrench your waist. Dip in and score. So here's what I want, partner. You're going to start with a head inside single on his left leg. I want you to act like a righty. Why? Right? Because 95% of the guys who wrestle are going to hit their head inside single on the left leg. Does that make sense? Head down, hip in, 